Hello and welcome to a brand new week here on my channel. My name is Samantha and today I'm going to be testing and sharing the brand new powder foundation from Revolution Pro. So the packaging looks like this. You have the white writing there um, with the matte background. Uh, matte black background. Um, the logo is there, so Revolution in white, Pro in rose gold. And then you have this banding here with the shade. So of course I've gone for F4, which is what I am in every other Revolution uh, foundation, you know, under that Revolution umbrella. Um, also you're getting in here a net weight of 0 0.28 ounces or eight grams of product. You've got Revolution Pro there, Revolution Pro there, and you've got the ingredients on the back as well as it being cruelty free and vegan. I know that you will enjoy that. So I really like the professional packaging, but I also like the banding. So obviously if you see this in store, you'll know exactly um, either which one to go for, or you'll have an indication of the shade that is inside there for you. Okay. And obviously there'll be testers if you're lucky enough to um, have this available in a store. So I picked mine up from superdrug.com. It retails for five pounds. Um, they were so, so helpful. Obviously the first one came smashed um, to smithereens, but I'm still able to use it, even though it was a complete mess. Um, but they kindly sent me a replacement today. Um, hence why I'm sharing the video um, with you today. But it did give me an opportunity to test it for you, which is really good. And as I mentioned at the beginning, with a foundation, you really do want to know the longevity and how it wears. So obviously I'll be able to give you that information. So this is the actual product. It comes in a compact that is like that. Again, very sleek, very professional looking. You've got the matte black packaging with, again, the Revolution Pro logo. The same information is on the back. So you've got ingredients, how much product you get in here, and the fact that it is cruelty free and vegan as well. So all of that good stuff is there. Um, when you open it up, so it's just a press, um, you know, like a little button, you have two compartments. So you have the mirror there, which I'll try not to blind you. Then you have the product in there with a little sheet on it. Um, so I'm just going to lift it up. So when you lift up that middle compartment, so the mirror, then you have the product, lift this part up, you have this little sponge applicator. And then you have a few holes on the bottom for, um, you know, for this to breathe if you're not using it. So you can just pop it back in there and it goes like that, and then you can lift the product up there. So like I said, this one is in F4, um, my shade across the board with Revolution products. So it is a powder and it should be pressed <laughs> as the first one wasn't. But that one is, um, you know, what they sent me today. That's the replacement. That's how it should look amazing. Really like it. Now, the reason behind me picking up this powder foundation, because of course I absolutely love the Revolution Conceal and Define foundation. It's my holy grail. Um, in fact, this is a brand new one. I've just gone through. I don't know how many I've gone through. I love it so, so much. Um, really, really love it. Now, not every day do I want to wear a full coverage foundation. And I have heard that um, powder foundations they look, um, I don't know, they look, give you a good coverage or a good look on the skin, I suppose, without being full coverage. So they, there's those days I don't necessarily want that full coverage um, of my, or from my Conceal and Define. So I thought that's why I would test this out. Um, also, over the weekend, not only have I tested it on its own, I've actually tested it over this, um, and I've also tested it where you can put a little bit on, um, so a little bit of this on, uh, which is what I'm going to do today. Because what I've got is, I've got a lot of redness around the nose. I've got some um, veins there, I've got something here, and I've got a little bit of redness on the chin. So what I'm going to do is put a tiny little bit of this on to cover that, and then I'm going to put the foundation over the top. I think what I'll do is I'll do that on one side and then none on the other so that you'll see what the coverage is actually like on the one side of the powder foundation and then one side 
over the top of a little bit of this. I'm not putting it all over my face, um, just on those red areas. Um, so yeah, like I said, because I've had that um, product to test out, it's really given me the chance to do that for you. So those are the three ways that I've tested it. Um, and so I've used it to set my foundation. So I've used it to set the conceal and define. I've used it on its own. And I've also used it so you pop a little bit of conceal and define on those areas that you need more coverage. Um, and then obviously popped the powder foundation over the top of it and obviously in the areas that you know is there so those are the three ways that I've done it um, and obviously I'll save my review to the end so I think we'll get into the try on now um, and also I'll do a little bit of a swatch of um, the foundation of the powder obviously it is powder so this is F4 you can see that it's got a pink undertone to it, which is what I like on my skin. So first of all, on this side, I'll apply a little bit of Conceal and Define, just a tiny bit around the nose. I think it will help. And a little bit on the chin, um, a little bit on the nose. And that's basically it. I don't really need any more than that. And then I'm just gonna tap it in. It's just if you have got areas that you need more coverage like me, then obviously I want you to be able to know that yes, it works over the top of foundation. Um, if you just need a little bit more. Perhaps you've, you know, you have a blemish one day or like me, you've got those veins that you want covering. Okay. So I've just applied a little bit of that, no more than that is needed. And of course, I'm going into the Revolution Pro now, but it's a damaged one that I really don't want you to see because it really is quite a mess, uh, but it still works. Okay, I'm using my usual um, Kabuki brush. It is in this case an angled one, but obviously you can use, I've found that this is really good. It's not really dense but it's not really fluffy either, but it works really well to pop that, you know, because when you're putting um, foundation on, liquid foundation, you tend to swirl it around and, you know, um, with this, you tend to have to push it into the skin. So let's start doing that now. So it's like a tapping, and I'm going over that area first. So I'm just tapping it onto the skin. I'll do the side that I've put the little bit of foundation on. Now I'm going to go down my neck as well. Again, just tapping that product into place. Obviously, if you have um, dry skin, I would suggest, if you still want to use this, I would suggest that you really um, do moisturize your skin beforehand. But if you have very, very, very dry skin, um, a powder obviously may show up any of those, you know, really dry areas. all of my nose difficult to just do half okay so basically that is all of that side done now and it's all over the you know I'll put a tiny little bit of conceal and define there and on my chin so that is the difference with you know this side to that side um, I mean I must admit I'm just going to put a little bit more over here which is where I have a little bit of redness and you know it looks pretty good I mean it's a powder but it it covers it's not what I would say full coverage so it doesn't cover everything but it covers and it blurs I suppose I mean I have actually got a spot on my neck there which I think 
um, I'm going to go in with a little bit of um, the conceal and define and then go over that because that's definitely not covering it. So, you know, if you have a little bit of a blemish or something like that, you will need to cover it first, whether you use your regular foundation or a concealer. So now I'm just going over that again. So that's half the face done. So now I'm going to just start going over this side. So this side, I haven't used the conceal and define at all. And I just pop a little bit of powder on at a time. What I don't want is I don't want it to be cakey. Now just down the neck. little bit more on the cheek just because that's where I get a little bit of redness. If you have oily skin this is going to be amazing. I'm just going to get, I have got some wipes now thankfully, um, I'm just going to wipe off a little bit of foundation that I popped on my hand. Okay so I'm going to Get close. I don't know why I'm close. I always close my eye. Anyway, that is the foundation um, applied. So that's the powder foundation. Um, and I'd love your thoughts on that. What do you think? What do you think it looks like compared to, you know, the, my regular conceal and define? So that's that. Now what I'm going to do is apply the rest of my makeup. So of course I'm going into the Profusion Contour Makeup Case, which is my favourite at the moment, and using my NYX fan brush. And I'm just going to now just apply a little bit of this so that you can see how powders work over the top of powders. If like me, you've never used a powder foundation before. Now, because it's not a, um, a liquid foundation, I've been finding that I can do this. So glide the product on rather than tapping it because it's a powder. So it doesn't pull at the skin. I tend to find that when you've got a liquid um, foundation on, it really does pull at the skin when you do this. So, but with this, I can do this quite easily. There's no pulling, um, so no tapping is needed, unless obviously I want to. Up there, I don't, can't do it very well there. Sorry, I really do like a quite a bit of colour on my cheeks. Okay, and then I'm just going to add a little bit of depth here. Like that, and then of course I'm going into my profusion my in cheek palette now and I'm just getting um, my Wilco blush brush and I'm going into my favorite shade which is that one there so a little bit of that Of 
course you can still get the foundation brush and just blend that out a little bit like that and then I'm going to get my flex brush to go into the highlight shade just to add a little bit of that Okay, so that's all of that applied. Um, and then I want to apply a little bit of lipstick. I'm going to be using the Revolution Matte Liquid Lipstick in Chauffeur, which again, I've been loving this weekend. is the full look complete. I'll just take my headband off now. The eyeshadow palette that I've used today is the Revolution Reloaded Iconic 3.0, um, which I'm obsessed with. Obviously, I will have everything listed down below for you, but that is the full look. So now the makeup is complete. I'll just give you a close up look. Um, and of course, I would love to hear your thoughts on how you think this compares to the Conceal and Define. So obviously on this side, I applied a little bit of the foundation just to cover a little bit of redness there. Um, and then on this side, I didn't apply anything. Um, and I must admit, um, obviously I'm now going into the review side. So what I thought of it, the longevity of the product, um, and all of that good stuff. So today I've applied, obviously the foundation this side a little bit, not much, and none on this side, um, thinking that perhaps I was going to need, really need it. But actually, I can't really see that much of a difference. Um, I really do think that this has a little bit of coverage, um, much more than I would have expected from a powder foundation. It's certainly given me much more of a natural look. Um, I don't look cakey, I don't look caked in makeup, so I suppose if you like that more natural kind of um, finish, and you also like a set um, kind of look, and what I mean by that is if you don't like it dewy, if you like your foundation dewy, then obviously do not try this because this is a powder and it will set your, you know, it will have, your face will have a set kind of makeup look, you know, when you set your face with powder, that's what it will have, um, but not over the top. I really do feel that it has blurred my face. It gives me a blurred look. My face looks not caked, but it looks blurred, I suppose. Um, because even though it's a powder, it doesn't look over the top powdery, which I thought actually that it would, but it doesn't. I really love it. I've still got some dewiness here. Um, I really, really like it. It looks natural. I must admit, I have been obsessed with it over the weekend. Um, like I say, I've used it um, over the top of a full face of conceal and define, so I've used it to set my makeup. I've used it to set under my eyes, and I must admit, I really like it set under the eyes as well. Um, and I have also done it, as you saw today, by um, a little bit of conceal and define, setting that, and then, you know, like I did over this side, going over that bare face. And I've really, really enjoyed it. The longevity, it lasts. Um, again, with powder, I thought, you know, I've got a fairly oily um, skin and I thought, oh, you know, the oil will just soak up the powder and it will be gone. No, that's not the case at all. Um, my face still looked good. It didn't look um, 
like the oil had ate the makeup at all. It looked just as good. There was no patchiness to it, no um, makeup breaking up. Um, and I really was impressed with it. So much so, like I say, I have been wearing it ever since I picked it up, which was Friday. So I've worn it Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So yeah, I'm really, really impressed with it. So it does last. It's very, very easy to apply. Obviously it was a little bit slower today because obviously I was share, um, sharing and showing um, you how to apply it or how I apply it. Um, but yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. It lasts, it looks fantastic. And it certainly looks um, like I've got makeup on, but I'm not caked in powder, um, which is strange because you would think that you would look like that, but you don't. I feel like I look like I've got a, I suppose, um, a medium. I wouldn't say it's totally, um, you know, like a light coverage. I suppose, you know, I probably put, you know, a couple of layers of it here um, and you probably could go even less than me perhaps. Um, but yeah, I think it's a real medium coverage. That's what I think, it's a medium because I have got that redness and even this side, you cannot see the redness. So it has covered. And even this area where I've got like broken veins, um, you can hardly see it. You can see a little bit, but you can hardly see it. It's not very much, you know, pronounced. Um, and when you put a little bit of foundation there and put the powder over the top, again, it doesn't look cakey. It looks good. I'm really, really impressed with it. I was so looking forward to Revolution coming out with this kind of a product because I have wanted to try it um, from, a, a, in fact, actually a, um, a brand that specializes in that kind of powder foundation. I have picked up testers, but I've never purchased um, anything you know the real deal the product because I just thought very expensive of course this kind of thing you want to replace on a regular basis um, so this not only is it readily available I can pick it up easily and as you know I like things easy um, it's inexpensive and it works so it can be used to set your face it can be used to you know um, set your concealer which is what I have also done with it um, but it also works as a, I would say, light to medium coverage foundation. Am I impressed? Yes. How many stars would I give it? Um, well, I certainly wouldn't have given the first one many stars because of how it looks. It looks terrible because obviously it came totally broken. But now I've got my um, non-broken uh, product, I would certainly give it five stars, five good stars. This is an outstanding product and I am so, so thrilled that Revolution Pro have released it because, I mean, obviously you can see it. I just feel absolutely fantastic in it and I, I'm, I'm so thrilled because, you know, on the days where I don't want to wear a full coverage foundation but I need something, um, you know, if I'm just nipping out wherever, um, I can do that now. So I'm absolutely thrilled. I'm, well, you can tell, I'm very, very excited about this. I also really like that it can just be popped in your handbag um, and you've got the mirror in there as well. So I really, really like that. So I've given this five stars. I would love to hear from any of you that have picked this up and, you know, do you agree? Um, is it a standout product? Again, from Revolution Pro, I just love everything that that brand releases because um, it's so professional. So absolutely love that. Love the price point as well. Five pounds is so, so good. Um, so yeah, I'd love to hear from you. Are you going to be picking this up? Are you going to be giving it a go? Um, and like I say, if you have already tried it, I'd love to hear your feedback on that. And if you have just stumbled across my channel, I would love it if you subscribe to watch further videos. Certainly, there's so much um, or so many new releases at the moment it's going to be a few more testing videos to come um, but as always until tomorrow thank you so so much for watching thank you bye